And we are back. Originating is a local community-based focused marketplace with in-person interactions. Ours NYC has evolved into a platform that provides supports, opportunities, and networking for both creatives as well as small business owners. And initially centered around fostering a social and community-driven atmosphere, they have broadened their scope, extending these opportunities to a wider network of consumers. And joining me now is the CEO and founder of Ours NYC, Shakina Campbell. And Shakina, good to have you. Thank you so much. I'm happy for the opportunity. Well, happy to have you. And as we talk about Ours NYC, obviously, uh, as I've mentioned, there's been some tremendous growth for you. Um, for you, putting Ours NYC together and being that entrepreneur, uh, what's the journey been like? Oh, the journey has been so exciting and fulfilling, being able to work with people um, from my neighborhood um, and finding more like-minded people who aspire to do more than uh, the traditional career. Um, it's been a pleasure helping people um, start their business on a smaller level and grow since. Um, so I, it's just been a, it's been a really fun time. Um, I'm proud of the people that I've met during this journey. I'm proud of myself because they've inspired me to move on and create a brand for myself. When we talk about creating a brand, you've got a clothing line. And when we talk about that clothing line, uh, a little bit we can see right there on the other side of the screen is you've got your, your hoodie on. But what was the inspiration to say, hey, um, ours NYC is going to be a clothing line? Um, at some point, it had to be. Um, the events were starting to grow. Uh, people were coming in and they would meet me as the host and oftentimes people would be like, well, where's your stuff? Where's your booth? And, um, you know, I was like, you know what, this is starting to come to be something where people might want a piece of merchandise just to pay homage to the person who put this together. Almost like if you were to go to like a, a, a major concert and, you know, maybe you wouldn't leave with like a certain artist um, T-shirt, but you would leave with like a T-shirt that represents the, the whole umbrella of the event. So I said, okay, let me let me start to do something like that for hours. Um, and it took off and it, it started to do well. So when we talk about taking off, you started 2016 and then 2016, you've seen over the course of seven years, some major expansion. Uh, take me through from where it was in 2016 to where you are today. Uh, it started off in like a really small art venue um, where really it was just like my friends, um, yeah, just really my close friends, everyone at that time, everyone on my roster was someone that I had a personal relationship with. And um, just word of mouth and um, just people paying homage to what I was able to do for them from that one event back in 2016. Um, they told their peers in the art community that, hey, here's a person taking a stance for us and taking a risk and running out this venue so that we can feel like our own bosses for the day. And um, they, that word of mouth turned into me working with people that I'd never known before. I didn't know anything about their platforms. And then I was able to pour into their businesses. And then um, we would, there was just like a huge overlap of networking. And um, yeah, again, like the room just started getting bigger and bigger. And people started to inquire about, you know, where's my stance for myself in, in, in this artistry. And then I started to make clothes on my own and it's 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 super meaningful. I mean, ours, it's like any and everyone can um, connect to it. Anyone that cares about building um, a future with people um, because we're all stronger together. And um, coming up with Don't Burn This Bridge as the slogan um, was also very empowering because I realized that um, just a small idea turned into something so major. Um, and you know the bridge started off as a thought process, and then it, then it turned into me holding hand with my my friends, my peers, and them grabbing onto other hands, their friends and their peers. And now we're like a we're a bridge, we're a chain a chain of opportunity. And um, yeah, I, at this point, it, the the possibilities are endless. I mean, here I am talking to you this morning, and it's nothing that I I could have ever imagined. You, well, I'm glad you are talking to me, you know, I mean, but I think that you've got a gift, right? Because in order to get to where you are today, uh, you've had to have some in-person networking events, and those were the things that actually were the catalyst for 
uh, a lot of the movement that you've had in your business. So putting together an in-person networking event, not really an easy thing to do. I think a lot of people think they can do it, but what goes behind it for you in terms of making these events? Because you were hosting these just about every couple of months now. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it takes a lot of reaching out. Um, it takes a lot of people, you know, saying it takes a lot of no's, you know, I think in anything that you try that's new. Um, and, you know, when people are just aren't familiar with you and, and trusting you with their time and their energy. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it takes a lot of time, patience, and um, just, just communication and, like, having moments like this just makes it easier for me to communicate what I'm about because now I can just, you know, reference, you know, a moment like this and say, hey, you know, this is something that I really do. This is something that I really care about. Um, I'm, I, I, am, I am really in this for your personal growth and your business growth. So um, it's, it's gotten easier, but in the beginning, it was very tough trying to find people that would trust me with their time, especially coming from, um, you know, our community where sometimes trust can be lost. But, that, you know, that's been one of the best parts, finding each other and, 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 and believing in each other and taking more chances and pouring into each other. It's just been a, it's been a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm really finding a family in this work. Yeah, when you cross that trust barrier, and that's a huge barrier to get success in because trust is not always easy in our community but as you said you've been able to get that down and um you've been doing some major things so talk to me about 2024 i mean we're right around the corner from 2024 and uh what do you have coming up that people can focus their eyes on oh so that's a great question so one of the spin-off events that i was able to start during covid um was a, a tea party um so basically these tea parties is just like a, a, a calm and easy way for uh, a bunch of us to get together and literally um, drink tea and discuss challenges, challenges that we have within our neighborhoods amongst ourselves. Um, and we have these conversations that will make it easier for us to coexist with each other, even though sometimes our, we may have differences on like how... Um, certain situations should be handled. But I think that this these tea parties allow us an opportunity to, you know, to see and feel and hear one another and have a more human connection. That way, you know, our day to day uh, amongst ourselves is much more. It makes it a more safe environment where we have um, where we can say, hey, oh, I met this woman or this man at the tea party and I liked what they had to say, or I didn't love what they had to say, but I liked the way that they said it. And it just gives us an opportunity to find different ways to respect and love one another, and I think that'll translate into more peace in our community. Well, Shakina, I want to thank you so much for being with us, and congratulations, Ours NYC is the brand, and uh, we will certainly be on the lookout for it. Thanks much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you for being with us here. For more information, you can visit their website at rsnyc.com. want to encourage you, please don't go anywhere. we got more open coming up right after this.